This is Twit. So it's funny because Apple is 49 years ago as of yesterday, 49 years okay. old as of yesterday. Right. Interesting. Microsoft is one year older. Yeah. And it's officially as of the fourth, which is in two days from this recording. So this Friday, um, although I believe today is that they're having an event. I think it's today or maybe it's tomorrow. I don't remember, but they're having an event in Redmond, um, which I was invited Hello. to. And I, I'm, okay. I'm sorry, Bill Gates uh, just stopped okay. by. I didn't, I Hello. didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> uh, Windows 8 is a, <laughs> anyway, so, um, I'm Bill Gates. It all started sure with my first computer. Yeah, it's during my eighth grade year at Lakeside. Do you want me to stop this? Teletype terminal well, I didn't explain what it was. was. <laughs> yeah. What is this? So what are we watching? Bill Gates, uh, today published the source code for the original version of Altair basic that what in, uh, Intel 8080 assembly language. Um, with Paul Allen, I mean, he wrote most of the, the source code for the, the actual basic language, although Paul Allen wrote the bootstrapper <clears> on the plane, <throat> by the way, to Albuquerque to show it to the owner of MITS. Very but, famous. In fact, uh, yeah. they were writing code in the plane, weren't they? That's what he, yeah, he wrote the boot, the bootstrapper. <laughs> oh but, yeah. You just said, that. <laughs> yeah, yes, he did. Like, he wrote, um, but as I remember, he, they didn't have, oh right, God, didn't have the I have to change so, his channel real quick here. They didn't right. have. A um, oh boy, I can't What's get rid of them. <laughs> they, they didn't have a uh, Altair to yeah. run, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So they they had access to a PDP ten um, at Harvard, <laughs> and by they I mean Bill Gates, and he gave it access to it to all his friends. Got in a lot of trouble for that, but they um, Paul Allen had earlier written a I forget which the I forget what it was uh, maybe an eight. What was before the 8080? There's Paul Allen, the here suit. The 80, 80, right? eight, eight, yeah, 8008, probably emulator yep. on the PDP 10. So they had some history doing that. And he got the manual from Intel and wrote the emulator. Uh, Gates wrote it to the emulator. Allen wrote the bootstrapper so it could actually come up on this device when he got there. And but he was writing first. it on a plane without the emulator. He was writing it right. from He just wrote memory. it off the top of his, yeah, because he's so, he was so good at it then. And by the way, this thing worked the first time. It worked immediately. <laughs> Although I think they were holding their breath, weren't they? Of course. I mean, I, how, why, why on earth would you think this would work? <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> it's astonishing. It's, it's an incredible story. So I have one Bill right here. This is the replica Mitz Altair 8800 that they wrote it for. And it's running a little program right now. Yeah. What's yeah. it? Okay. I, I can't remember what it was. I think it's just like. That's, that's yeah, they hooked it up to some kind of a teletype so they could uh, type in, a, a, you know, a question like question mark print 10 or something. And it would print 10 and then right. they do math and then they could write short code. And he that, wrote actually, a, that's uh, interesting. It had basic in it. He wrote the basic for it. That was yep. their first basic. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> was there was there an operating system or was no. that also the operating system? No, that was it. There's no operating that's, system. So that's you would boot that. And you'd be running basic and that's that. You couldn't do anything with this thing, right? So people bought it because it they were so amazing. excited to you own a computer. computer on yeah, no, desk. I know. It was amazing. But it wasn't, you know, you you needed to buy a lot of extra things, you know, RAM, uh, a different different peripherals. You, in the end, you would spend thousands of dollars, um, but it still mm -hmm. couldn't do anything, right? So it needed a basic. Operating systems weren't really a thing. It wasn't until CPM came out that, people could see like, actually, we need something like this. We need something to interact between whatever the programs we run are and the hardware, right? And that's, uh, you know, CPM was the first kind of microcomputer operating system, I guess. The um, book Programmers at Work had a little snippet of code that Bill wrote. Yeah. There are that he was super proud of, you know, because he was code golfing or something. He didn't have a lot of memory. So the other thing about this, by the way, I'm sorry to interrupt, is uh, he he wrote a there was a bit he had a, a problem to overcome with this, and this is something I think we've all kind of done, but to a much lesser degree. He couldn't solve a particular problem. I don't remember what it was, but he went out on a hike, which he didn't like to do. But he had a girlfriend, and she wanted to go on a hike, and he's like, "Screw it!" Uh -huh. So he spent the whole time thinking and talking about this instead. Right? Needless to say, they didn't make it. But <laughs> while out on I the hike, I wonder if I should do a move or, or, or a dupe here. I don't. I can't. I'm wrote. Should I wrote it? What I don't. <laughs> okay, that was a my replay. Anyway, my he solved the <laughs> he solved this incredible problem in his head. Went wow. home and and wrote it on a piece of paper. And then went to the lab and typed it in, and that also worked. 
I mean, look at this. Bill Gates wrote the runtime stuff. Paul Allen wrote the non-runtime stuff. Monty Davidoff wrote the math package. Right. And there yeah, he's so Bill, the things okay. to do. I'm sorry. I won't no, interrupt okay. you. I just, this is turning the first off time my this, microphone right now. Go ahead. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just, this is the first time the original version of basic, the source code has ever come out in full. So there are leaked versions of, you know, 1.2, 1, whatever they are. This is the first one. Um, Bill Gates, just, you know, a month ago published the first edition, first volume of his autobiography. And it covers this part of his history, right? Up until he drives to, uh, Redmond to move the company there. Uh, to, well, to Seattle area it wasn't Redmond originally, but um, and yeah, they tell the, the story. The thing you just read is part of the story. Like they were really short on time, and the math, uh, the I don't know if it was floating point math or whatever the math library was for, was is difficult or was difficult. And um, the, you know, he was like, "I don't. We're not going to have enough time. We're going to have to sh you know do a version without it." And then they, someone at the table next to them at harvard in the whatever lunchroom heard them he's like i could write that <laughs> and he was like some math expert and they were like all right and he did and yeah he wrote the the math package the world famous monty davidoff and how much well, did bill pay him for that i wonder yeah i don't know remember off the top of my head i can uh he's not I he didn't he didn't, didn't. He, he didn't say did. he, he did pay for it but he <laughs> oh, didn't good, okay. uh, he, that guy did not retire on that i can tell you that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow well, it was the middle seventies too, right? Like, yeah. Well, no one. This is brand new. The the notion that you could write software and then make money for it. Well, it just write software. It was almost unheard of, completely. You know, main in the mainstream world, and then you could turn this into a business. It didn't. You know, it, this was not obvious. Anyway, I I, I think I might have mentioned this story. You know, whenever it was about a month ago when the Gates book came out, and uh, it is it stands as a. A singular achievement. I mean, whatever you think of Bill Gates or the basic language or what or Microsoft, whatever, um, this is an astonishing feat that they accomplished for this era. It's incredible. Well, you're also playing in what 4K of RAM. So yeah, I mean it's I literally know. not that many bytes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you what have what to processor is this for? What what is this? 80, 80, 80, 8800 or 80, it admits out to 8800, but it's running in 80, 80, 80. 80. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it was the first. You know, uh, Paul Allen had wanted to do this for microcomputers. He wanted to go after this market early, and Gates kept saying, "No, the, these these chips are not powerful enough." And like the eighty, you know, whatever eighty oh eight or whatever the predecessor was, was almost there. You know, and uh, he saw this. You know, the famous story with the magazine cover. He came running back. This is it. This is the thing you said to wait for, and here it is. Let's do it. And they did. I'm impressed by the comments. There's a lot, there's a lot of explanations of what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty high quality uh, code. This is almost literate coding. I'm sad though that he published it as a picture of the <laughs> tractor well, feed printout. Fortunately, Leo, we have a tool in Windows today called Snipping Tool that does OCR, and I you can just uh, you can, can you is thing it good enough quality to yeah? Yep, yep. I did part of it earlier today actually not not because i wanted the code but just i i saw that and thought that myself i'm like huh <laughs> you know interesting i i would love to see uh maybe steve gibson somebody who really knows 8080 code yeah kind of look at this look and, at right. this and and say hey you know this was pretty clever or this was boneheaded or yeah I'm guessing it's all fairly clever. 4K memory is not a lot. It was yeah, remember, for the day. It was actually over to write a program in, so you don't get to use. Yeah, I 4K mean, right. Basic. I'm, right. I'm going to go off the top of my head here, but I, I uh, the base RAM on this thing was 4K. The base they fit the original. I think it was 6K, but of course you wanted 8K. You know, to yeah, have for run. four thousand dollars more. Yeah, it was expensive, and then but that but. You know, whatever. And the thing is, you know, they liberally took from all of the basics that were out in the world. And this was actually at the time one of the most advanced basics there was. And it ran on a micro computer, not on a, a mini computer. Like this was astonishing to people. They, you know, they were like, obviously, given the constraints of this thing, it's going to have, uh, you know, like the integer math only or whatever, like a lot of basics did, including basics that came after this. Um, but they, this is, you know, again, for the, it's, we look at it today, like we have AI, we're like, yeah, cute. But I mean, in that era, this is astonishing. That's really cool to see this, I have to say. And I'm <clears throat> super impressed with the commenting. I know. Um, it's almost like 150 pages of code. <clears throat> yeah, but you know? most of that's 
comments. I mean, yeah. there are pages. There's some pages just comments. <clears throat> this is quite uh, quite neat. Yeah. It, I think that's the word Bill would use. It's neat. It is neat. It's super neat. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go on a hike? <laughs> well, he would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's. Oh, you want to go on a hike? That's how he would say it. Oh, yeah. oh. you want to go on a hike? Huh? Okay, but I might be thinking about something. <laughs> <clears throat> wow no i shouldn't mock him this is this is very cool that's incredible and it is the sense that he was a, a great coder uh or of he was for that era. I, I conflicting reports yeah well of course <laughs> but i and, think and those, but those would have come from his you know competitors who were critics because they couldn't stand how successful he was right so you know one of the many ways that people even of that era looked down on him was because he was so uh caught up in basic you know everyone else was like well there were more sophisticated languages mm -hmm. and uh you know uh, he he was onto something with basic not because it's a great language but because it's approachable by people and that's what was needed at that time you needed if this was too complicated if it was assembly language or c or well c would have been probably impossible in this thing but whatever whatever other um you know, a more structured language, a more um, technical language, whatever, you know, this, this stuff would have happened a lot more slowly, but he made this, you know, he made, this made computing accessible, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the people are super excited to buy these computers and upgrade them, get all the stuff and do it, actually do it. You know, they wanted to do something with it. And this is what enabled that. And also, by the way, started an, an industry, you know, very impressive. Um, uh, it's nice that he released this. You know, they'll never release the Windows code because there's too much proprietary stuff in this. That's okay. Other people have released the Windows code. So <laughs> they've so done it for at various that. times, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of go-to tens. But, you know, it's okay. No, uh, actually, I'm, I'm pretty I, sure I, Do we know? I mean, it does say at the front what Bill wrote and what Paul wrote. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But most can... most of the actual basic was written by Bill Gates, oh, except for that math package. Um, okay. And then Alan was responsible for the emulator, and then had to write the. Boot Bill Gates wrote the runtime stuff. Paul wrote the non-runtime stuff, which, which is, the, is, I guess, the, the loader later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, and the, the, and the bootstrap. Well, he didn't so, know that when he wrote <laughs> that code. I mean, right. You, you know, he didn't know. They both forgot about the bootstrap, or they forgot there was no way to bring this thing up. Like you <laughs> had to, we, how do we? You had to be able to load it? this thing into memory for this to work, right? Was the bootstrappers switches? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's literally. I think in the Paul Allen book, there's a picture from the, those notes. You can see he, it's like up, down, 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 up, yeah. down, down, and it, it, like eight look. of them at a time, right? And then it's like up, down, 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 up. You know, whatever it is. Yeah, there's some and, switches on the front. Yeah, and that's exactly how you load code in. Yep. In fact, here it is. The Altair here. I have a note to myself how to run uh the k kill the bit game okay and this is and this is uh, i wrote you can see how long ago i wrote that it's on my newton notepad nice it's, it's <laughs> switch stop up reset up sw1 right. up hold up your all, left foot all the others down flex toward the moon and then to Sacrifice start it a chicken switch aux one down and then the game kill the bit starts right the other yeah, thing I, the basic Paul Allen loader was like 30 bytes. So you had to set the switches, load, set the switches, load. I and think you got them all correct. I believe it, it took him 18 it. minutes to do this. Yeah. Something like that. It was some crazy amount of Physically time. Physically like on it. the front of yeah, it. Yeah, and you, you had to get it right. If you screwed up one, one you mistake. had to start over. Yeah, click. Yeah. Then yep. turn Steve it off, Gibson turn it back tells, on. tells that again. story on a PDP, early PDP. Yeah. You can see I have a replica PDP-10 that has the switches in front of it as well. But static code storage just wasn't a thing then, right? Like right. that's right. The ROM comes ROM. later. Yeah, ROM comes. Yeah, no, later. I mean, and Bill Gates is uh, one of those right place, right time type stories too, because he happened to go to this very affluent uh, school district. They actually had a Lakeside school, PDP yeah. ten with a terminal with a keyboard and paper, like right. so you could actually type onto this thing and then save the paper, you know, for later. The mothers had a bake sale to yeah. raise money, including Bill's mother. To mm -hmm. raise money to buy this terminal, which it was a timeshare terminal, that's right uh, in the Lakeside School. I went to a similar time frame in the uh, in sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine. 
a school in Rhode Island that had a similar room. Little no, tiny I've never even heard of anything like this. I, well, just, I'm kicking myself now. If I had just spent a little more did, time in that we, room. We didn't get computers in my high school. And well, we, well, in junior high school, I, there was one Commodore pet in a small room somewhere by itself. So I was aware of that. But when I went to high school and I graduated in 85, it wasn't until my sophomore year that we got computers. And they were at that time completely out of date. They were VT100 terminals from digital, but they were called VT180s because they had like a double five and a quarter inch. I think it was a floppy on the top. And there was some story. I don't remember how they did storage, but we all, you know, there were these giant things, right? And, you know, by this point, we I had I had a Commodore 64. You know, my dad had gotten an IBM PC. This thing, we got these things, and I was like, "What is? <laughs> like, what is this? The seventies again?" You know, like it was just, uh, but it was probably some fire sale, and you know, school districts didn't didn't have any money then either. So that's what we got. We got the bargain basement hand me downs from you know five years earlier or whatever. I don't know. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, the history. I, it, it took what fifty years to see this code, though. So, yep, yeah. Well, this, this is exactly why I like. It. I mean, we've source. we've seen there've been parts of it, and we've seen other versions right. of it. But, yeah, I've yeah. seen a chunk of it. The chunk <clears throat> that Bill is the most yeah. proud of has been passed okay. around. <laughs> yeah, no, it was in the as I said, it was in the appendix yeah. of the. You're right. Uh, the Gates book Microsoft published book about the pro about program. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think there. between the Gates book and then the Allen book, which probably came out I don't know 10, 15 years ago. I think we have the definitive account now between the two of this time. Like, you know, th these are the two guys, like they did it, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of, that's really interesting to me. When did they turn uh, mean and rapacious? At what point did that happen? So after about 10 seconds after you got basic working, um, <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, they were trying to make a business, you know, it was controversial that he didn't want people giving away this program for free. Look at software. Uh, was Bill, free Bill, then, right. Bill very famously went to a users group meeting. Maybe it was in Albuquerque and uh, yelled at them for sharing paper tape. Yeah, the, right. the famous okay. letter to the computer computer hobbyist club. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's from this, 1976. This is the, the book big, which um, is out of print, but boy, it is yeah, a great a book classic. from Microsoft Press. Yeah. And it has that code uh, in the back. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So the, yeah, I mean, uh, Mitz tried to prevent them from selling basic to others, but they, they were required by their contract to help them with that. And they saw everyone as a competitor, which is accurate. So they had to go to arbitration and Microsoft won. And otherwise, I don't know, Microsoft probably wouldn't exist today. Interesting. Let me see if I can get my um, overhead. Well, okay. <laughs> Just move on. I don't know. You don't want to move on. You want to move on. You I mean, can move on. It's just like one step. Well, it's like no. I mean, what are you? What, what are you trying? What are you trying to find? I just was going to show you something. Oh, go ahead. We'll find it. It's just this is the this is the book. So this so this is very this is actually related. What's kind of cool about this though, and I'm sure Bill gave the author this is there's handwritten notes as well. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think some so of the stuff I've seen notes on some storage notes, yeah. layout for basic. Right. Stuff like that. But we never, we only got this little chunk of uh, code. So this is a good book. I recommend it if you can find it. Tell you back yeah. in, in the old days of the MVP summit, when Bill would talk to the MVPs, somebody, one of the MVPs had found an original manual from that Altair Basic. And on the back of it, the, like the last page, it said, if you have any problems with this Basic, call Bill Gates and it had a phone number. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And hey, so he, and he got to get up on the stage and hand it. He, he wanted Bill to sign it for him. And oh. Bill got really emotional about it. I bet. I remember yeah. the phone number. I mean, God, things were so simple then. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.